Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Getting a very late start to my day. It's not a good day. Um, so, um, my daughter had, has asthma and we had to go to a doctor's appointment this morning. She's fine. We've got new meds. We're going to be, that's all, that all happened at the click of a button this morning. And I'm just sort of out of sorts. And yesterday, I had the appointment yesterday to get my hair cut for the Minnesota Newspaper Association Awards. And I left my appointment at two yesterday and cried until I cried myself to sleep at 10 p.m. And I'm still going to cry. So this girl has done my hair twice before. Not been an issue. And I just had my hair cut right before Christmas. So I said to her, I just need a trim. Um, I didn't get a trim. I don't know what she was thinking, but I'm going to just show you the picture because I don't want to take my hat off. I won't be taking my hat off. That's the picture. And for some reason, the, this side of my head is this long and this side of my head, it comes down to just below my eyelashes. And it's just so badly cut all over my head that I don't even want to go to the awards anymore. Seriously, my dad called me twice yesterday to make sure I hadn't driven into a lake. I was so upset yesterday because, as you know, this is kind of a big deal. And I had told her how important this day was and that I don't want to look like a boy. I need to just get a trim. And she held it up with, and she goes like a half inch, you know, like this much. I'm like, yes, perfect. Just a trim. And somehow that translated into a nightmare. So I thought my biggest trauma was going to be picking an outfit evidently I was wrong um I was so emotionally wrung out yesterday that it triggered my Hashimoto's my hands are so swollen I can hardly make a fist this morning <laughs> all my joints hurt but my hands really hurt she turned me back towards the mirror and my immediate reaction was no why, why is it so short? And she was like, you don't want it short? I'm like, no, no. I mean, none of what we discussed happened on my head yesterday. And I, I, you know, they have to turn you towards them to cut the bangs. And that's when she turned me back around. And I was like, <gasps> I mean, it was just, are you kidding me? I'm not proud of the fact that I did pray for all her hair to fall out in patches on her wedding day. <sighs> I would think that if a client came in and was like, let me explain to you how important this event I have coming up next week is. And I don't want to look like a boy. That you would make every effort to ensure you got it right. Am I out of line in thinking that you should maybe have taken that as a warning sign to be very cautious, cut judiciously, to just maybe take it just a little off? And she even used the phrase at one point, I can always go shorter. I can't go longer. So I'll just take a little off the back and not, no lie, the back is square. 
by the way, she squared off like a man's haircut, the back of my head. And I'm like, you know how women's, they taper it, you know, you get the taper. It's just, it's so horrifying. Like it's horrifying. just want it to look nice. That's it. I just want it to look nice. I would. And now it's like, it's this weird, it's not even a good cut. If it was just too short, that's one thing. But the fact that it is choppy and a really bad haircut. And I'm like, she done my hair twice before this. And they, it was fine. I mean, she had cut the sideburns too short, which again, they're too short on the last one. And that was my only complaint was the sideburns were too short. Like I, I prefer that they frame the face. You know, you've got a wider face. You got to frame the face. this hat won't come off for at least another month and then it'll probably be that'll just be at the stage when we can start having it corrected it's horrible you guys i'm in a really not good frame of mind and being in physical pain doesn't help and the fact that i'm still emotionally wrung out doesn't help the physical pain so i'm not gonna get a lot done today <laughs> That's it. That's just my day. And that's all I'm going to say today. Okay, I guess I have to do more than I thought I was going to do. I've stopped crying now. I think for good. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> it comes and goes and waves. But um, I had a customer call. She's a good customer. And I actually had done an interview with her. She was a customer at Picket Fence. I learned about her business, did an interview with her, wrote a story, and she's bought a few pieces from me away from Picket. And she contacted me, she's at the store today, and she's realizing she needs a few tables, some layering pieces. So she said, do you have anything? And I said, yeah, I've got this black table. And then I showed her a couple pieces, a couple small tables that I had at Picket and she wants those. And, um, I also have a spinning wheel, which she owns a yarn shop. So she was looking for a spinning wheel and I'm like, I just happen to have one. It's in pieces. And she's like, I know a guy who repairs them and she desperately wants the spinning wheel. So that's in the trunk. <laughs> love serendipity. I love when, um, you know, you find customers and they know what they want and you're just like able to collaborate and, and say, Hey, do you have this instead of her having to go to 18 different stores? She can contact me and I can provide what she needs. I mean, yeah, she wants a vintage look. Well, I've got that. <laughs> I've got that. So I'm running to pick it to pick up the two uh, pieces that we agreed on a price for the three pieces that I'm selling her. Um, she's still thinking on the spinning wheel because I think that's, that's you know it's going to be a little higher price, even broken. It's still from eighteen seventy some eighteen sixty something or so. I don't know. I took a picture of the the date on it um but it's you know, it's a beautiful piece so that's in the trunk if i see anything else there that i forgot to show her i can pick that up and take it too i mean now i'm gonna have to find pieces for picket but you know, i got stuff in the garage we'll figure it out we'll figure this out i have no idea what it's gonna be i'm running out of um what is going on with this car what are you doing? Yeah, pay attention to the road, Boomer. Um, yeah, I, I'm running out of small tables. So 
I figure it out. I don't know. Maybe I'll build one. Been a while since I actually, you know, built something. And I actually have this very long board that I've been waiting. And you guys, some of you had seen it in the background of my video and you're like, what are you going to do with that? I had an idea for that and I do want to get that built. So maybe it's just time for me to build. My husband will let me into his workshop on Sunday. Maybe I can. I'm just tired. I am tired. Oh well. Let's figure it out. I have no idea what's going in there. I don't know what it'll look like, but somehow it'll all work out. <laughs> I was climbing through my garage going, oh, there's a lot of chairs. I don't need any more chairs. I need a lot more tables. But I would like smaller tables, you know, so maybe I'm just going to have to build some. I have the ability. Everybody wants a small table. Time, time to start building. Okay, I got the um, tables. I picked up the tables and I'm going to head to my customers, drop them off and uh, get paid. That'll help. I could use the money. <laughs> um, uh, I ran into a friend of mine at Pickett. She's a former hairdresser, and she seems to think that if I play with this a little bit, maybe slick it down and wear something like a headband with it, I could maybe make it work. I don't know. <laughs> That's a big ask for a headband. I'm just saying. She thinks that I should just try. I don't know. I'm having a hard time looking at myself this way. So it'll be difficult to play with it. But she said, maybe if you just give it a little height. And, and I'm like, I don't. She said, I'm texting you. You try it. She, she's like, no, you can't cut it and fix it because it's going to get, get shorter. And I'm like, I know. But she's going to check in on me and make sure I'm trying something new. She said, you just don't know until you try something. Just try something. And I'm like, okay, I'll try it. I don't know about a headband. I don't know. A headband girl. You don't have any headbands either. Uh, look at Target. See what Target's got. Got the check. Yay, I can use this. I could use this right now. <laughs> that makes me happy. Um, maybe I'll, when I go get the kiddo, maybe I'll look at headbands or something. I don't know. I don't know. Just don't know. But it was good to get rid of a couple tables. Um, the one table had way too long, way too long. The Chloe table went. So the Chloe table was a table that we did a couple months back. I It had this little girl's name on it, Chloe, and I painted over it. Sorry, Chloe. Your table is now part of a, a business. So. And then a black Demi Loon table. I have Demi Loons that fall into my lap all the time. But she needed layering pieces. I'm like, I totally get it. Yep, I get it. So. I might have some more layering pieces. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to wrap up my day. I've been working in, in, in the she shop here. And I've got projects coming. That's one of them. There's one on the table right now. So you'll have other projects to see from me besides, you know, me bawling my eyes out. We'll figure it out. I'm going to figure this out. It's just, just, it was tough, guys. Okay, so 
I have to get these projects that I'm working on finished because the client that I was at today also wants me to do a custom table for her. Um, so that's in the other room waiting to come in here. I don't have room for it. I got to finish what I'm doing here so I can get her table in. She's picked her color. She's ready to go. I've just got to like paint it and get it done. Um, yeah, it'll be great. She didn't pick black. I'm happy. <laughs> the last custom piece that I had to paint was black. And it's a table with flat edges. It's a square. It's got a base that has flat edges. So I'm not like doing spindles. I'm very happy with the piece that she's decided to, to purchase from me. Um, why is this? Ugh, there's water everywhere. Hang on. Ugh. I'm working on another project though, um, and I'm right in the middle of it and I want to get it done. So I'm going to just work on that and come back to you guys tomorrow and you'll have a video that's not me crying. I promise. I promise. And I'm going to figure out whatever's going on with my hair situation before the event on Thursday. We'll see. I hate days like this. I hate, my husband was like, why is there always trauma with your hair? And I'm like, I don't know. Explain to me why there's no hairdresser that can like decently cut hair. And repeatedly, they can do it once. They can't keep doing it. <sighs> oh, well. I'm going to get to, uh, get to painting. So thanks for watching you guys. Happy junkin. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more junkin videos.